Hi, I'm Betsy, and this is an instructional video, instructional video for yellowballfever.com. I want to talk to you now about the net, which many people who play tennis think is like their worst enemy, when in fact it's a spatial marker to help you determine um, how the flight of the ball will affect where your shot ends up. If I'm standing back on the baseline, and I know I'm very close to the net, but just relatively, if I'm back on the baseline and I want the ball to go very deep in the opponent's court, I can't make the ball peak on my side of the net because then it will only drop very short on the other side of the net. So when you're back on the baseline, you should be creating the flight on a ball that makes the apex, the peak of the ball's flight, on the other side of the net so that the rest of the ball's flight, which gravity controls, will bring it down deep. There are also occasions when you want to hit a ball short in the court, like a short cross court. When you hit that ball from the baseline, you want to make the ball peak on your side of the net or right above the net, and that way it will drop shorter in the court on the other side of the net. So instead of thinking of the net as an impediment or an obstacle, use it as a halfway marker to help you determine where your shot's reaching a peak and where it will end up bringing the ball down in your opponent's court.